guys, I just wanted to put this in the beginning of the video. This is a postpartum update, so it might have some TMI stuff. So if you guys aren't interested in learning about postpartum journey, this might not be the video for you. Just wanted to put that out there. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my postpartum week three update. Today is Monday, so I was three weeks postpartum yesterday. And this week honestly has been probably the hardest just because of sleep obviously we're like getting sleep and stuff but it's just kind of like the third week of only sleeping for like an hour or two at a time it's just kind of like starting to take a toll and so that kind of leads into the fact that this is the week that my house has been the absolute messiest that it's ever been just because if she is sleeping like the last thing i want to do is go do laundry or go do the dishes or just anything like that and that also kind of goes into youtube like the last thing i want to do is go put makeup on and do my hair i want to film i want to edit i want to make my thumbnails i want to upload for you guys but just like the getting ready to film the videos is kind of exhausting just because it does take me like a little bit of time to get ready and sometimes by the time i'm ready she's awake again so then i don't have time to film and so then it's like I got ready for nothing because I'm in my house not doing anything. So that's been kind of hard this week. We are getting into a little bit more of a routine. I posted that on my Instagram yesterday just because I uploaded um, a work day in my life that I filmed on Saturday. And we are getting into a little bit of a routine and I want to film more for YouTube. So let's hope that that actually happens this week because that's one of my goals. I absolutely love my youtube i love filming i love editing like i said i want to be able to keep doing that um it's just like the one thing that i do for me because i don't work right now i'm not in school right now and so when i don't do it it's just kind of like i'm not doing anything for myself so i really want to make sure i make that priority this week another thing that happened this week was my boobs were uneven yeah they were not the same size i did not realize it until i was getting ready on saturday to go to my hometown and I like put a dress on and I was like oh my gosh my boobs are not the same size at all <laughs> so that was um kind of weird I didn't really like that so I think that they're closer to the same size now I don't really know it wasn't like super obvious but it was obvious to me because they're like mine so like I know what they're supposed to look like another thing is my bleeding has like basically stopped so I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna be lucky and not bleed for the six to eight weeks postpartum because like it's barely anything right now and Another thing that happened was I'm not losing any hair Because like postpartum hair loss is a thing that happens to a lot of people It hasn't happened to me, but my hair is like way greasier than normal So like I usually wash my hair once every week or once every two weeks just because like I've trained my hair like it's way better to not wash your hair every single day and like I've been doing this for years so I know how to take care of it when I don't wash it but this past week I think I washed it like three times because it just got greasy and like I don't know how to deal with greasy hair I've never had greasy hair and so if that's something that happened to you guys postpartum like comment down below and let me know like how you got rid of it because I've never had this problem and I actually don't know what to do with myself <laughs> um another thing that I would recommend it's just to have your support person or your baby's dad or your mom or whoever you're living with or whoever's helping you take care of your baby make sure they are absolutely so 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 supportive and taking care of your baby and yourself i am very lucky that my boyfriend is very supportive taking care of me like if i'm tired and need a break he's he like he makes sure that like i'm getting taken care of and she's getting taken care of I'll put a picture up here but the other night I was so tired but I was so hungry and I was just like I just like can't get up to cook anything because I was exhausted and he like got up and made me a waffle and like it's such a small gesture but like it seriously almost made me cry I was like oh thank you so much just because like his like main priority is taking care of our baby and me and it was just like really sweet that like he is like taking care of both of us and if you guys don't have a support person like that while you're pregnant, you definitely, definitely need one once your baby's here because it's really hard to do by yourself. Like when Kyle's not here, I get like way more stressed out. I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do all this by myself? I can't get anything done. I have to watch her 24 seven. Um, 
But like, I absolutely love being a mom, but definitely have a support person because you're gonna need it. Some other stuff that happened this week is I am getting a little bit more energized like at nighttime because like at first like the waking up in the middle of the night was the hardest now i can do it and like i'm up and like i'm very alert and like sometimes after she's done like i'll get a couple things done around the house but that has definitely improved because like the first week when i had to wake up at like three o'clock in the morning i was like a zombie when i woke up and now when i wake up i'm a little bit more like awake and stuff so that has been um definitely a positive also, if I'm swaying back and forth, it's because I'm feeding her right now. We're about to go to a checkup appointment. So I'm feeding her and then I'm going to get her dressed and we're going to go there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my week three postpartum update. If you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to tag along my journey. My goal is at the beginning of July, I would like to go back to posting three times a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's the goal. If it changes, I'll let you know. <laughs> Um, but I'm just going to kind of ride out the rest of June post when I feel like when I get set up, but I definitely want to get back onto a schedule. I hate not being on a schedule. If you guys know me, I, I'm not really like super type A, but like I need a schedule to function. Like I need a schedule. <laughs> so I am hoping to go back to three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I know that wasn't my original schedule, but that's the one that I'm going to change to because I think it'll work better for me to not upload on the weekends and um i did make a professional hair page if you guys want to follow that along with my regular instagram just because i kind of post on there more than i do youtube anyways but yeah i just wanted to give you guys this update because if i can help any mom out there i definitely want to do it i watched all sorts of these videos when i was pregnant and um I just think that it's helpful like when you're pregnant to watch pregnancy and postpartum videos and do research about it and stuff that way you're not completely blindsided once your baby's here like you don't want that to happen you don't want to be completely blindsided about the crazy things that can happen to your body or any of that stuff so if i can help anybody out there i would like to or if you're just here for entertainment thanks <laughs> um but at the end of this like after i like tell you guys to have a good day or whatever I'm going to post like my body update throughout the week. Um, I, If you guys didn't watch my last video, um, I'll put that in the, the description box below if you guys want to watch my week one and two update. But I'm taking a picture every single morning of how my body changes to motivate me to show that I am making progress in my weight loss journey and just like all of that stuff. And I'm planning to do it till I'm three months postpartum. So um, I'll end that video with how my body changed this week. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay tuned for how my body changed this week. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and stay positive. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, I know I said I was going to end the video after that last little clip I showed of like my weekly transformation. But I just wanted to give a little hype and support out there to any young moms, single moms, and just moms in general. You guys are awesome. It's so hard, like, taking a baby somewhere by yourself. Like, obviously, like, Kyle is super supportive and everything, but he's, like, at work right now. And I took her to her checkup, and the, I'm, like, out of breath. <laughs> Anyways, the parking lot is super full, so I had to park like kind of far away. And so I had to carry the diaper bag and my keys and the car seat all the way like to the entrance of the hospital. Then we had to get our fevers like, well, to, we had to get checked to see if we had a fever and then we had to get mask on because I forgot my mask at my house. And then I had to walk all the way to the pediatricians like part of the hospital. And it was really hard. I have not taken her anywhere by myself yet. So that was definitely an adventure to say the least. But I just wanted to give some support out there to young moms because I'm 20 years old without makeup on. Um, I look a lot younger than that. Like when we were at the hospital and stuff like giving birth to her, they like, they either asked Kyle and I what high school we went to or like if we were about to graduate or something. Cause like they thought we were like in high school and stuff. And so like every time I, like go places with the baby I feel like people like look at me weird because they like 
not that they're being judgmental they just think I'm like super young or something which there's nothing wrong with that I honestly love having a baby young and I know a lot of other people who are younger than me that absolutely love that they had their babies young it's just it can be kind of hard like especially like when you're having lots of hormones and stuff for like being postpartum and everything to like just see people look at you kind of weird like that like why do you have a baby like what are you doing not that I care because like I absolutely love having her and I would never change any of it it's just kind of like can you please like not look at me like that thanks <laughs> but I just wanted to give some support out there to everybody it is hard having a baby you are doing awesome everybody is doing the best that they can and don't let other people tell you like differently because you're your baby's mom you know what's best for them like you're gonna make the best decision for you and your baby and especially if you're a young mom like I say enjoy it like you have more energy you get to grow up with your baby you're gonna be in your baby's life longer because you're not you know really really old when you have them which there's also nothing wrong with having a baby really old this is just support more towards people my age just because this is what I'm going through and what I'm experiencing but yeah I just wanted to add that at the end of this video just because I feel really accomplished for getting my baby to her appointment on time but yeah I made it to my baby's appointment on time we did it all by ourselves she's kind of fussy right now so I'm gonna wrap this up so that I can go home you're doing great and if nobody's told you that you're doing a good job being a young mom a single mom or just a mom in general I'm here to tell you you're doing the best you can if you're feeling emotional or like overwhelmed or whatever it's okay and just to put this out there if you are another young mom and you feel like you have nobody to talk to feel free to message me on Instagram or comment down below all right so we just pulled over at a gas station I got her to calm down a little bit just so I could finish saying what I was saying what happened was her pappy fell out of her mouth and she really likes to have her pappy in her mouth like when we're in the car and stuff so she has that now but what I was saying is if you guys are a mom in general and you feel like you don't really have anybody to talk to because like when you stay at home with your baby it can get kind of lonely comment down below or message me on Instagram or like whatever platform you have me on and I will more than happy be willing to talk to you guys that's like why I make this channel why I document my life I want to connect with other people I want to make connections with people and it's all about staying positive and you know not feeling like you're alone but anyways, yeah guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this video wasn't too much of a hot mess. I feel like since I've had her, all of my videos haven't really transitioned very well. And they've just kind of been messy. So bear with me. I'm getting back into the swing of things. But yeah, if you guys are interested, subscribe down below. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.